dyed my hair, I thought that that would sort of lift me out of the contract. But unfortunately, um, you guys didn't. They don't seem to give a shit about the the look or the branding or the personal image. But um, but that's what. Yeah. Okay. Hello, and welcome back to uh, another episode of the Lack of Focus podcast with me, Matt Bentley, and with me today, as usual, is Harvey Quinn. Harvey. Hello. Hello. Also, back to you. Um, let's let's just go straight into it. Let's yep. address the elephant in the basket, uh, which is um, going to be a real treat for the viewers today. For oh, those of massive. you to to please don't interrupt me in, in the intro. Just did this, but um, <laughs> are we going to be a real treat for the uh, for the la- the lazy listeners. I'll describe it to you. Um, Harvey's had something of an image change. Harvey, do you want to talk them through it? Yeah, Brief, briefly. Briefly, um, thought I'd see if uh, blondes had more fun. Um, just to clarify for people who really have no idea, remember yeah. it's sometimes it's half, not always a visual medium. Sure. You've dyed your hair white blonde. I've dyed my hair blonde. Bleached yeah, it yeah. blonde. Bleached it blonde, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and that's, yeah. and listen, here was everyone, here was the whole world thinking Matt was just going to absolutely slam him for it. Yeah, yeah. And can I shock you? I think it looks really good. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Yeah, now, I am. Um, it's obviously professionally something of an own goal that goes without saying it's a real walking the walk move i'll tell you what i'll tell you something i haven't told my agent yet again just just really ah so i haven't told my agent yet which is great because also what's also good about that weren't you pencil for an advert this friday yeah yeah, i am still pencil for it yeah yeah, 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 that's amazing stuff they actually they actually emailed on thursday saying Yeah, yeah would harvey be open to cutting his hair yeah for the role, and I said, "Yeah, no problem," because I knew on no Friday, no problem, no problem, bro. On Friday, I'm getting this this bonds dyed, aren't I? Yes, you are. And I did get it dyed, and yeah. I haven't updated them. And this, just to clarify, for this, uh, penciled means well. It, when I first started acting in like 2002, penciled meant it was between you and one other person, and to not leave the country. Now, penciled means between you and about six other people, but also means it. No, it it kind of goes without saying. Yeah, don't change your appearance in any way from when you auditioned. Yeah, that is really, really strict. Now, I would love you, Harvey, to get this role. And I would love so much for you to like secretly film the reaction to yeah. when you arrive on set. Because you will arrive on set. And I will arrive on set. And you will arrive on set. And you will look like this. Um, you've got to live by the sword. And you and, and Harvey, can I warn you? Mm. You might die by it. <laughs> and if you live by the sword, Matt, you must, as we all know... You must die by the sword. You must die by the sword yeah the, the reality is um i knew that if i it's like anything if you book a holiday yeah you book the job you book the job yeah i keep book, i keep booking holidays yeah i'm away a lot yeah you're away all the time yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah i'm always i'm always floating about and i'm yeah. just like watching my bank account and no one no one's no one's on the phone to the agent like sorry anything come in anything i actually the phone went ring? i actually went into a casting the other day and i was just like i've 100 got this yeah i literally just like sauntered out there i was like yeah. why do they even bother bringing other people to this yeah, and man. i was so confident i haven't had like a feel like i've an age yeah, um, and I haven't heard from them. And it was uh, it was it was Carmel Coltrane as well. Oh, was it? Who sees me a lot for things and refuses to give me jobs? Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's, pick, that's fine. Pick him up, waiting for my moments. Exactly. She's waiting for the perfect one. That's well, what I'm keep telling myself. She keeps bringing you in. That's what I yeah. I mean, she likes you. Yeah. She's or really nice as just, well. Just or in a weird way, loves watching me just like do my absolute best. Torture. Just, yeah. Everyone else was shit in that. I could hear them through the walls. Well, they were shit. <laughs> they were shit. Um, and I, 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 I'll tell you, if I knew their names, I'd, I'd tell you their names. But yeah, I don't, yeah, so I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, right, that's a fantastic intro segment. We've addressed the elephant in the basket with your... Um, blonde hair. With your blonde hair. I'm worried though. I, I am worried that... You should be worried. Because I, like uh, when I got it done, yeah. I was like, I look like... I kind of really like um, Christopher Walken in Live and Let Die because he's blonde hair. Correct. Look good. Correct. You know up. what? You do. Yeah, right? So I thought, that's what I look like. And then I remember leaving the salon, getting home and thinking, and it was a bit windy. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this is just Boris Johnson now, which is not as cool. Yeah. You'd have to gain a lot of weight to be to be yeah. considered a borrower. Look, the thing is, when I used to dye my hair, not to make everything about me, but I mean, listen. This is our show. Do you know what I mean? well, very much, yeah. very much our work show. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I used to dye my hair white blonde like this a few times. I've done it yeah. a lot of times. Um, and you would get the classic Draco Malfoy. Yeah, right? that's what you get. A lot of that, yeah. If a listener, if you're listening to this, whatever the hell you're doing, Jesus. Uh, try and picture um, Buffy from. Um, no, Spike from Buffy. Yeah. That is who you look like. 
Which is, is it James Masters? I don't know his name. His name's Spike from Buffy. Spike from Buffy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was, uh, we, we had this conversation earlier. I can't believe how good his English accent was. I know. For the time as well. Yeah, he, like, he could have easily just been like, you're right, governor. <laughs> he could have easily done that. Well, and no was, one would have brought well, him up I on mean, it. the guy from The Boys. Or fuck is, I mean, honestly, Awful. honestly, is he not, is he not like really, really embarrassed about that do, accent? Do you know what's funny? He's in Lord of the Rings and his accent is pretty good. Yeah, but in Lord of the Rings, he's doing like, a th anyone could sort of do that accent. Yeah, it's true. That accent's fine. Yeah, it's true. Anyone doing that really earnest sort of English thing. That's the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And he's in one scene of their outdoors and you're actually face. It's where he's like, you shall die before your sword fell. Yeah. It's that scene. So it's like, gives a shit. In the boys, it is so fucking goddamn terrible. <laughs> I know. I thought it was a joke. I didn't. I actually didn't know what the hell was going on. I. He, he's. I, I like Carl Urban as an actor, so he, I kind of let him off the hook a bit. Although I shouldn't, because that accent is really fucking atrocious. I didn't let Mark Ruffalo off the hook with poor things. That no, accent's you, fucking. You, you went in on Mark. Yeah. Poor Mark. Poor Mark. I like Mark, but come on, Mark. Yeah. His accent is just all... He, he's almost as bad... Mark Ruffalo's accent in Poor Things is almost as bad as Al Pacino's in... You know he's done... Al Pacino's got an English accent. I'll, tr I'll, I'll trump all of this, no matter who you say. Go on. You know the worst one. Ocean's Eleven. Fucking mate, you boy. Oh, fuck. What is his name? Is, it, is, is he in Ocean's Eleven? Yeah, he's the guy who does the bombs, and he's like, you're right, gays are on... And then they, they, in, the, in the third one, they bring uh, him back, the black yeah, guy. What's yeah, his name? Yeah. What's his name? He's fucking. He, he's also in the Marvel franchise. He's bare famous. Everyone's in the Marvel franchise these, these days, man. No, but he's like he plays the main one. Anyway, he um he they bring him back for the third Ocean's Thirteen, yeah. and they say you're playing deep cover as an American. Imagine that. So they get your accent so your, bad. Your accent's so shit. We're going to write it in. And so they're like, and you're you're deep 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 cover. So your character never goes back into the British accent now. Yeah. So they're, honestly, they were playing very 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 fast. Imagine he he would have been like, oh um. So you sure you don't want me to do my accent? Because it was quite well received. Like, listen, 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 listen. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I can still, it's not to you. Like, I can still do the accent. Don't do we, it now. Don't I, do I, it now. I'd love for us to... And again, just proving that we do this live because we can't Google who this man is. No, I don't um, want to. No, I'm not going to either. It's not... Um, it's not the, is, in the, is he the Falcon? In, in, no, 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 Anthony no, no. Anthony Mackie's not very likable. This guy's quite likable and he's older. Uh, and he does the... Someone's at home screaming this the thing right now. Um, well, let's keep let's the keep other Iron Man. He plays the other Iron Man. He Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Well oh, done, Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don, Don Cheadle's Cheadle. ad, uh, in British accent in uh, in <sighs> Ocean's Eleven. Is you've never heard it? I, ha I haven't watched Ocean's Eleven in a long time. The last time I watched, mate, it a couple mate, of years you ago. don't need to have watched it like yesterday. You would that that accent will imprint on you. It's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it not awful. Quite... What's the worst the English person doing an American accent? Because it's oh, never that way around. Clive Owen's pretty bad in Sin City. I haven't heard it. Never, he, seen, never saw Sin City. It, he can't do it. Okay. He can't do it. But I feel that Americans don't really give a shit about it as much. I, don't, I feel that Americans are like, oh, well, you've got some sound, right? People got so really we'll... cross Andrew Garfield where he's in that one scene in, part, in, in um, Spider-Man 2, maybe Spider-Man 2, and they say his accent goes to like four different regions of the States within two sentences. Oh, really? Well, and I, I, I can't pick up on it because I'm not that attuned to it, but... Um, I'm, pretty, I'm, pretty, um, I'm pretty attuned to when accents are, when accents are wrong. Particularly English ones because there's certain vowel sounds that they're like um, Al Pacino does it in in I think it's, I think the movie's called Any Given Sunday or something and he says dog but he goes dog yeah dog what was that dog oh yeah yeah and yeah, yeah. And, and fucking um, Mark Ruffalo does the exact same he get, he gets he does that exact same mistake in poor things but what's funny is Rami the other the other actor who's American that's doing. Uh, an English accent does the same thing and I think it's because they didn't have an actual Brit on set being like sorry sorry um, what, what, what yeah, are you saying yeah but are you going to tell Mark Ruffalo to you know do it differently when he said he's got this like mad dialogue coach he's had the last no I but, would yeah I know you would Harvey I you, would you covered your arms and tattoos and dyed your hair blonde without I mean, telling anybody <laughs> I mean, sorry Mark sorry sorry Mark you're driving you're killing me here yeah. you're killing me Mark Marco can I stop you for a second don't call me Marco 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 um, you, yeah you're gonna kill. You're gonna tank the movie, mate. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's gonna be gonna you, listen to this. You're ruining my day, Mark. Yeah, you're you, ruining my day. You you wouldn't be a great dialogue coach. Your your patience would be very short. Oh, it's you just give very everyone line reads. Um, Harvey, there's been a shit. We, we you know how we're always looking for opportunities uh, in the sort of professional field of what we do in terms of yeah. presenting and, and radio shows, yeah, yeah. And, and TV stuff, TV shows, yeah. Um, the, uh, there's a, a big big spot has opened up at ITV. Do you want to know who it is? 
Go for it. It is Deck and Ant of Ant and Deck fame. Oh. Um, they did their last ever Saturday Night Takeaway with Ant and Deck. Sure. Um, it's run around for 20 years. Yeah. And um, it started in 2002. Yeah. It's come to an end. They, they knocked it on the head. Do you know who they could get in? Go, tell me. Go on. Um, the, okay, there's two people that, that spring to mind. Yeah. Is it uh, Liam from One Direction? Because he looks like a fusion of both of them. He's around. He looks like a fusion of both of them. He's like an unholy homunculus. Do you know what? I don't know if we're allowed... I mean, on our show, we do whatever we want, but I think at the moment, the official line of Liam Payne is to be very, very nice to him. Why? Because uh, he had a little bit of a breakdown. Now, listen... Is that, is that when he was getting interviewed about Will Smith slapping and he says... Well, that was bad as well. Listen, it's a long list for, for, for poor Liam. Bless um, him. He went on the, the, the Logan Paul podcast. Did he? I'll tell you right now for free, never a good idea. The man's looking to exploit you, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> and uh, tippled him with some whiskeys. And obviously, you can tell like three hours before that interview, they're chatting to him, being like, Joe, Liam, did I ever mention, by the way, um, I think you're just a fucking legend and everything you've ever said is really cool. Really? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gassed him up big I time. also heard that everyone in One Direction basically thought that you were like a god, but were like too scared to say it. Did they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and then he sits down, they go live, and he just like, comes out. With, You've never seen this interview? I've not, no, I've not. This is no. the craziest shit in the world. Anyway, then he grows his hair out, had like a dreadlock going on, got engaged, got unengaged, kept going, like... He's was just, he engaged to... Um, that weird accent with the Will Smith slap. That was odd, wasn't it? He's, he lost the plot, so... Now he's sort of gone off social media. He's sort of in hiding a little bit. He was like, well, you know, so Will did what he Jada, had to do. Jada, she lost. Jada was she Jada. had no idea. Will lost because yeah. he had to do it. Yeah, it's like, hey, like Chris, hey, he, 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 he lost because right. he didn't know. Yeah, because he didn't know. And you know, there's, he's a great motor. Like, why one are you the Irish? One of the greatest motors of, of, of our generation. Firstly, uh, Liam, he's not your generation. It's, yeah. Of it's of much, his generation. He's yeah. much older than you. Much yeah. older. Yeah, she lived a couple of houses over from me. All right, mate. We get you. You're Don't bare. Care. You're bare rich, bro. Yeah. We understand this, yeah. right? It's not why metal. are you at the Oscars? Why are you at the Oscars? Why was he there? I tell you why. Because the Oscars are just for shit munchers. Yeah, they are. They are for shit munchers, yeah. aren't they? They are for shit munchers. It's like Cannes Film Festival. The, they're all of them are for shit munchers. Uh, I once attended the Cannes Film but Festival. But you were in a film at Cannes, right? Yes. So that's different. I think if you go to a film festival, you're like, do you yes. know what? It's a, they're like, like, like someone said to me recently, they're like, do you know what, Cannes? It's a great event. You should go. Yeah. I'd rather cut my penis off. Do you know what I kept saying when I was very fortunate with my experience with Cannes Film Festival because the, the rapper Tiny Temper had Ooh. just brought out a song that went, um, tell JK that I'm still rolling and... Tell Russell I'm around, go can, go can, because I can. Basically, is the line, cool. go can, because I can. Yeah, nice. And this was back in the day where you did sort of like permanent Instagram posts for like everything. Oh my God. And so I'll give you one fucking guess what my caption was for everything. Go can, because I can. Go can, because I can. How many, how many <coughs> posts did you do in can? Oh, oh God. Uh, in can. In can. Well, it was actually Boomerang had just taken off. I re- had it. A lot of boomerangs. Oh my God. Boomerangs. A lot, lot of boomerangs. I mean, it's weird that people... um. People still use Snapchat. No, people really use Snapchat. No, no, I did, but that, but so it, a lot of Americans like I was watching a YouTube video of like it was an MMA fighter, and at the end he was like, "Yeah, find me on Snapchat." That's I was like, I was like "Okay, lame. firstly, well, an adult, firstly, a grown adult, grown man, pathetic." I was like, "Also, okay, but that's just the social media app for like criminals." Isn't I would say it's like, so. What, it's like, why would you like? So why is it delete after ten seconds? Yeah, yeah. What do you not want permanently on the internet, but you want people looking at? Like, there's nothing good, is there? It's not like, oh, here's a picture of um, a nice Sunday lunch. <laughs> it's not that, isn't it? It's a well, it's they an erect they, penis. They've actually gone out and said like this is it's designed to like basically for for, for kids who want to hide things from their parents. Essentially, yeah. that's the definition of what it is. It's, it's drugs, alcohol. Blue language. Blue, blue language. Blue I know you won't stand yeah. for, Harvey. Uh, which I, I, you, you know I won't stand for blue You get so cross at blue language. Um, um, so, yeah. So, so um, did you not want to... You don't, you don't fancy the, the Saturday night job? I wouldn't do it. You in Vegas are tumbling. Because it's, the, it's the death of the of the Saturday night um, t- TV. It just is the death put, of it. Just put lack of focus on. They've gone from well. TV. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that. They've uh, they dropped from an 83 percent of the population yeah. who watch TV in like traditional way yeah. in 2021. Do you want to guess what it's dropped to now? Go on. Oh, do you oh, guess? Uh, well, it's dropped. I'd say it's dropped 40 percent. No, no, no. It's dropped to 78, 79 percent of the population. But bearing in mind, Sorry. there's. 
a lot of old people out there who still watch TV, right? But they've died. That's what's lowered the numbers. No, 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 they haven't died. They're the ones still like because the death rates uh, stay the same. We're actually we're an aging population, so we're actually fucked in that sense. Yeah, we are. Um, so it's it's those people have chosen when you when we stop watching TV. You know, fine, everyone expected that. Yeah, yeah. When the old people stopped watching TV and moved to streaming services, are people they doing start. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. My parents don't watch TV. My parents stop. What? Well, but they they still watch. They've got like Sky and they watch. Whenever we go over there, it's just like fucking. They love it. Don't they? they love the like Sky, and, like surfing. But then they've, yeah, I've recently I, don't. I installed Netflix on their their TV. So you didn't have an option. Well, no, I did. I was like, <laughs> no, I was like, you have to watch Witcher season three. Pump those numbers up. Just keep uh, have it on yeah, repeat. Actually, yeah, Dad, yeah. just have it on repeat, um, which he does. Um, and I, I check in on him every, like, I'll, I'll spot call him. Yeah. And I'll be like, is that, is that, can I hear it in the background? Turn it up, please. Yeah. Turn, turn, what's the TV on? Yeah. And it's the, it's always The Witcher 3. That's good. Um, not season one or two. Don't. No, 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 not, not about... season one. I don't care about season one or two. Honestly, yeah. Season three, episodes, I think four, five, six, whack them on, did you, turn it up. Did you text Henry to say congratulations on him having a baby? Um, did you even know? I didn't. Do you know what? I didn't know. Well, I do. Cavill's having a... How, Cavill's having a child. Bloody hell. Cavill's having a child. Well, look, he's going to be a good dad because who uh, who wouldn't want their dad to be Superman? Do you know what? I have actually just realised. I've watched a few interviews with Henry Cavill. Can yeah. I be honest with you, mate? Go on. The guy's got zero... He's got zero vibe about him. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've actually never so, seen... I've never seen a human being yeah. with, who looks like that with that much, like, gravitas yeah. with just literally zero... Zero chat he's, to him. He's, he's a nerd. He, he's... No, no, no. Stop. No, no. Pe Okay. No, he is. I, I don't dispute it, yeah. right? But what I'm so sick of, I'm yeah. sick of this, actually. Go Can on. I say I'm yeah, sick yeah, of yeah, this? Yeah, 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 let's get into it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sick of people like you people and like Henry me. Cavill yeah. going, yeah, but I'm a nerd. Oh, I'm so nerdy. Fuck off, then. Fuck off back to, I don't care that you're nerds. Because I, I, He's I, not I, ever said, no, I'm a nerd. I, I know, I know, but people wear it as just like badge of honour. It's like so incelly and weird. Like, oh, no, look, listen, like I know that I dress really vibey and I'm bare good looking. I'm fucking Superman, but I'm just a bit of a nerd. Sure. We, everyone is. Like every single person. Uh, no, 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 no. Everyone has a thing that would deem them to be probably a little bit nerdy, whether you're like, and it's yeah. just people wear it to like sort of get themselves out of like, just like it's, it's, yeah, you probably get to know now a listener. You watcher. definitely know watcher. now. Watcher. watcher. That I hate yeah, yeah. kooky. I hate like, oh, I'm so God, I'm so yeah. weird, me. I'm that's so not what. That's not cap. And and it is similar to being like, you know what, guys? I know I seem like some hench, fucking superstar millionaire, but I'm just a nerd. Let's Warhammer. Fuck off. But he is literally. A nerd I don't that care. Much Stop wearing it on your sleeve like it's some sort of like. I, just, oh, I, just I don't. Well, this is the thing. So with, with, not with, you personally. This this is the thing with 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 Henry Cavill is he, I think he's so famous that like, but that. He's not. He's not wearing it on his sleeve. He's not like he's posting, like social media about like, oh like, look how nerdy I am. It's just like he just happens to be famous and people will ask him about it. And he's like, well, I, I'm into it. Look, I, if, I, you, if you're giving I, me a Henry, Henry Cavill versus a Tom Hiddleston, I'm picking Henry Cavill every single day of the week. I see. I know. Yeah, He's, yeah, yeah. he's far more likable than Tom Hiddleston yeah. will ever be. Yeah. He's um, he's he's um. It's just a nice man. Yeah. He's a nice man. So fair play. Congratulations to Cavill. I'll text him in a in a, in a Do in drop a, him a text, text otherwise you'll think that you don't think about him. He'll be I yeah, know, and I do think about him often. Yes, you um, do. Obviously. Um yes, you do. but uh yeah, so he's having a baby. Um any other sort of news? Oh. Current events. Yes. We as we we're sort of talking yes. sort of in that. Yes. Did you see um talk about Coachella? Apparently Coachella's happening right now. So I didn't know. I, I was like, does it always happen this time of year? Yeah. Does yeah. it always? Yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's when we went out to LA, were we? I thought it would, it just happened. First time I ever went to LA, um, I was invited by Michelle Trachtenberg. Yeah, if you don't know who, that's quite quite coincidental. Yeah, because Michelle Trachtenberg was in Buffy, and you yeah, look yeah, like yeah. Spike from Buffy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she befriend, befriended me and invited me to Coachella, and I was genuinely just too nervous to go. Oh, I, was, right. I was very young, very young. I was very late bloomer, but I how didn't, old was she at the time? Don't know about you, about mid thirties. No, listen. She no, was I'm really not saying nice. she's a nonce. I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, we're not. We're not saying she's really, really, really Michelle nice. Michelle Trachtenberg is not but a nonce. I had, and it, it, it overlapped by the time I was there. I'd been in LA for a couple of months, and then Coachella happened. So it stands to reason it's this sort of this round. But yeah, but I here. remember we went. Did, when did we go? I thought we went in. Did we go in May. Yeah, we were in May. Oh yeah, because it just happened. It just happened. Right. So it happens at that time but of year. Coachella. I mean, genuinely, I know we say this the phrase a lot. You couldn't pay me to go to Coachella. I wouldn't want to go. You couldn't pay me. No. Seriously. Oh, the only ones. The only the only band I'd really like to see. No, 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 no. Is no, Deftones. No. You've finished. You've started with the only band I want to... No, it's over. 
Why? It's not a music festival anymore. It's, it's, an, it's, an, it's, an, it's an Instagram it. festival. Oh, uh, fine. Like every single person I know who's been. Okay, every person I know who does go, put, put it this way, I fucking know they're there. Oh, uh, really? I know they're there from my little flat in West London <laughs> because they're fucking showing me fine. and they're looking incredible. Um, Did you see Grimes set? Don't know what that is. So, do you know who Grimes is? No. She's like an electronic artist. She? She, yeah, Grimes. Okay. She, she was Elon Musk's wife. Uh, they have a kid together. Uh, now, if you're if you're in a relationship care. with Elon Musk, right? Do you know you must be a it? fucking weirdo. Yeah, Amber Heard was in a relationship with, with Elon Musk. Prove my point. Prove my point. So, Gr- yeah, Grimes, Is that the one who had the kid called ZY? That's the one. Oh, that's my one. God. She, she, she is she any good? Up. Is she any good? I mean, she's she's that electronic music. I mean, she's all right, but she did this thing. Um, you, you, I, you need to see the video; it's very funny. But she's her 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 sound deck fucks up, so she like breaks the she breaks breaks character. Yeah, or breaks. You know, important never to have character. a character. Yeah. But she breaks, and she's like, oh, "Excuse me, my, 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 my stuff's gone wrong." She sounds like that. She's, she's like, that "My stuff's gone wrong." She has to just yeah, yeah, yeah. scream into the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's wearing like, headphones. Mwah, 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 mwah. Really? I'm okay. To do so now, just as you, as just really That's be. What she sounds like. It, uh, <laughs> I Honestly, just, just in future, I would just be really careful doing that impression. Why, it's Grimes? When it's committed to film, don't care. But, well, Come it's at not. Me. <laughs> Grimes, come at me. You um, can clip things and put them in very, very misleading. Don't care. Look, she, she look, she, she had a, a baby with. Elon fucking Musk, the king of the. Now I idiot. really am going to have to see this video because if she does, if, firstly, if she does sound like that, she then I, like that. I'm astonished. And if she doesn't, then yeah. you're in real trouble. <laughs> you can come and take me. Um, I'm, you know where I live. Um, no, seriously, she she sounds like just like uh, like oh, uh, you know, know you know you get you know you get inflatable um, lilos. <laughs> yeah. She sounds like like one's got a puncture and some really fat person sat on it. That's what she sounds like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> she sounds like a fucking idiot, right? Because she is an idiot. And I, d- I don't like Grimes, and I fucking... I, I've and yet you really, still you know, still be curious about going to Coachella? Only for Deftones, because I'm a huge Deftones fan, and they played, and I saw photos of them there. Did they not play, uh, play? I really just think... So, yeah, so, they, think so they're playing... Coachella. So they're playing in, in Europe this year, so I'll probably check them out. There. I'm probably not a fair advocate of that, because I just I just don't like festivals in general, to be honest with you. I, I don't anymore I don't think I think I'd just be fed up yeah, of, it's like, not my I'd thing. be fed up it's not my thing uh, although Glastonbury is really fun. Uh, fun yeah I'd only go to Glastonbury now with uh, with with friends and, and with, with people that are in the industry I presume you know. yeah I'm, I'm staying in Video Village have to so, so, that, the, so I'm, I'm st- wherever you're putting the Kings of Leon yeah that's where so I'm they have, be. they have. Um, so in Glastonbury, there's obviously it's like a big city, and there's loads of stages. Yes. But if you have, it's not VIP, but it's like a crew tent. Like, so my, I went with my friend who was working for X-ray touring. Yeah. And he had us. He got us in, not the VIP. I don't want to say VIP, but it's like, it's like an area of camping where you have sh- like hot showers. Yeah, it's where you put Greg James. Yeah, and then but then also you got access to the sort of the backstage bar area, which is in the middle of all the stages. Makes sense. And it's great because it's a chill place to go to get away from the chaos that is Glastonbury. And it's and it's there's nice leather sofas, bar, it's out, also outdoor. Yeah. And you and you can get from stage to stage from that bar. You so probably. you don't have to walk all the way around. So it's like so I've only ever been to Glastonbury that once and that's that was the experience. Yeah, so you can't I had. go backwards. So I can't go backwards. I, so I was just I, I'd have to go and yeah. You're a very important person because, again, yeah, I I, and, I mean, obviously, with that, we just have to put up with Jared Leto because he'd probably be there floating, he'd be around, there floating around, yeah, noncing up the play, like. noncing up the play I, again. I, if I see that him. is speculation, we don't actually think that he's done anything illegal. I do, I just don't. Well, careful, I think, careful, I think he has. I really don't like the guy, I don't like him. I, look, you can't be sending condoms to cast members, do you know what I mean? That's yeah, just, that was weird. Just he's an odd. It just is oh, speaking annoying. of review, let's jump into the review section because this has been, okay. this has been a not, not a bad episode so far, but it's um it's been all over the place. It's been all over the place. Oh, just to tie it back to Elon Musk, quickly, events. really quickly. Did you see him on the red carpet no. doing those weird poses? No. Never has a man tried to be like tried to get everyone to like him more than Elon Musk and he just comes across as like just a Quentin fucking dick. Tarantino. If you ever want to have a laugh go and watch the promo pics for um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood where yeah, Quentin yeah, Tarantino's yeah. in the back of a Cadillac with Leo DiCaprio and <laughs> Brad Pitt and if yeah. you swipe through them 
at a good time, you'll see that um, Quinton just copies Brad what Pitt, yeah. Brad Pitt's pose has just been in the previous photo. He does the so, exact it, same thing as him in the other photo, and it's yeah, it cheers me up even now thinking it, about. Yeah, that. it makes me really happy because um, at least at least Quentin is like is a cool person. Like he's a good fucking director. Do you know what I mean? Cool person and good director, are don't, they're not compatible. He's a weird bloke. Man. He's a weird bloke, but I think I, I get, I let him off because he's just such he's a genius. talented yeah, genius. Whereas yeah. Elon Musk, I just feel is a repellent yeah. dickhead. Yeah, he is. That's um, exactly what he and is. And that's Elon Musk. Film review section. I went to go and see Back in Black, yes, uh, the Amy Winehouse biopic. Um, and it's been getting bad reviews from other people who from uh, you know these these over bloated review systems cool. like newspapers <laughs> who the fuck is reading a newspaper still? Nah, Jesus Christ Grow <laughs> they up. they sh- they don't know what they're doing and Grow they give up. it like half a star which was just genuinely seemed That's just like crazy. pedantic because it's just not it's not worth half a star Marissa Abella is good performance She's a fantastic singer. So at points, she sounds remarkably like Amy Winehouse. So it's all, she's, um, she's all her singing. All her singing. In. No, no. Okay. And she can act. Yeah, she's great. Um, she gets weirdly... Th- not weirdly. That shouldn't be... It's for the cult, but she gets very, very, very thin, sure. which always kind of feels like a little bit like um, I'm doing thin acting. Watch me do thin acting. Yeah. But it's... And it works for the film. The film in itself is just shot like a 2015 mm. indie that was struggling for a budget. That's the feeling I get for it. Yeah. Where if you compare it to Elvis, mm. that is a fucking movie, right? Yeah. That's a movie trying to do something interesting cinematically and tell the story of Elvis Presley. Well, Baz Luhrmann's a very talented, stylized director. It's not, yeah. Sam Taylor Wood, Sam Taylor Johnson, isn't very good. No. She, she's just not very good. She's no. done a few shorts. She did Nowhere Boy. She got away with Nowhere Boy because Nowhere Boy was really, really no, good. Nowhere Boy was a, a good movie. But it, it was an average movie. Yeah. and um, This is shot exactly like that. And the thing is with Amy, the, the reason why Marissa's, Marissa Abella, 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 Abella her yeah. performance is tricky is because Amy Winehouse was so iconic and her accent was so distinguishable yeah. that if I were to play Kurt Cobain, Oof. it would be hard to not play Kurt Cobain, the sure, cliche yeah. of Kurt Cobain. Because yeah. if, you, if, you if you play Amy Winehouse on the fucking nose people go well she's just doing that a bit hammy if you mm. underplay Amy Winehouse they go well where was the Amy Winehouse yeah. she's, she's almost a caricature of her and then because Don't people like people go and dress up as Amy Winehouse you could put the tattoos on yourself the wig so it almost looked at points mm. is she and if you don't film that film with a crazy budget mm. and because it's filmed in Camden and they filmed in Camden and they filmed at the King's Head and, and all this stuff it all like, looks different now it, it? it's not that it looks different it just looks like it just it, honestly man it looks cheap oh. and with then and then the production value of it takes away from it Jack O'Connell is doing his absolute best to not be cook from Skins um, and but, sure, but surely th- th- this is the thing does he play is he likeable Jack O'Connell, yeah, but that guy isn't like. No, no, but Blake isn't. Blake's a really not. Have you seen the documentary, yeah, Amy? Twat. Amazing documentary. Yeah. So, so I went home and watched the documentary immediately after Incredible. the film, and I think that's the kind of thing behind this. If you want, if you want to watch anything about Amy Winehouse, just watch the. I, I also find, watch the documentary. I also find um, Eddie Marzen is cast as Mitch. Yeah. Uh, Winehouse. Yeah. Weird casting because Eddie is a very likable actor. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so Mitch was involved heavily with the movie. Oh, and really? in the same reason, I haven't actually seen the Bob Dylan documentary, uh, uh, biopic, but Bob's family made that film. Yeah. Now, it's the same reason why I went on record ages ago saying this. I think that Bohemian Rhapsody is probably one of the worst films ever made. Yeah. I really hate it. And that's for a plethora of region reasons because they hired Sasha Brown Cohen, then they he, hired he Ben Whishaw, the, and they yeah. quit. They both quit, and then they finally got him Remy Malik, who was terrible. And then sure. you had um, Dex, Dax... Um, Dexter Fletcher came in and saved yeah. the film Fine. and made it somewhat releasable, but knew yeah. it was bad. Then did it again with with um, Rocket Man and fucking nailed it. What Rocket a brilliant, right. what a brilliant yeah, movie really because he started from the beginning. Um, but I think Bohemian Rhapsody was is is the worst one ever made in terms of biopics, and unfortunately the Amy Winehouse one will will come close to it. Was probably this is probably the second one. Have worst. you seen Last Days with Michael Pitt? Yes, I have. Yeah, the Kurt Cobain one. Great one. But it's not actually it's not, really it's not a, Kurt Cobain. It's not really a biopic. That's, that's, um, that's what I like about it. Uh Courtney Love owns the rights to, yeah. to and she wanted Ewan McGregor to play him. 
And um, when he said no, she's like, right, stick on the shelf for another. But she knows that's her last ticket. When that's, she runs yeah, out yeah. of money, that's her last one. Because she can go around to every party in LA with this little, did you know that heart-shaped box written about me? We, we, Courtney, we know. Yeah, cool. Courtney, love, we know. Also, <laughs> Courtney, love, do you get it? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. I didn't even realise I did that. Brilliant. Uh, but Kirk Cobain was uh, locked from the outside in his, yeah. uh, in his greenhouse where he was found dead. So make of that what you will. I, um, so just about... Marissa losing weight for the role. Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, like, I, you, you were about thin acting. I saw an interview with Christian Bale, um, and he was, a recent interview with mm. Christian Bale, and he was like, oh, like, did you... Um, and he said it's very dangerous. People he was like, doing he, it. he says, I'm never going to do it ever again, because he was like, I didn't realise at the time that I was, I was contributing to a, how committed are you to the, to the yeah. role? And he was like, well, it's not about commitment to the role. It's like, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't, see losing or gaining weight as like how commit how brilliant they're committed to the role it's yeah like, yeah but he was like that is just something terrible is going to happen yeah it's, I mean, it's the same and... thing with but I, I think it's going to be the, the losing of the weight role right yeah. people will eventually step in and go listen you're too thin this is really dangerous yeah. do you know where they won't step in is when people get so fucking big you're trying to look like Chris Hemsworth and Chris Hemsworth oh, is yeah. on steroids okay yeah yeah all these people you're, you're matey boy Henry, Henry Cavill I, I would say probably was is, one, yeah. no 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 not probably it's not it, it, well like we well, can't say definitively bro it's a yeah. very dangerous thing to say that yeah. it's 100% that Henry Cavill got that big mm. from not taking some sort of anabolic steroid it's impossible not to again but but you, you can only we can only speculate and then, say it's yeah, very likely very very likely yeah, yeah. incredibly likely and I think yeah. that's way more dangerous to make teenage boys I agree because it affects me I'm in my 30s yeah me too like yeah. and it affects my psyche yeah. Me too. And you want to get bigger and bigger and, also, and bigger. And it's also, insane. We're, we're bombarded by Instagram posts from people that are like super, number one, genetically gifted. Yeah. Like top 1% genetics. And then they add steroids on top and then they're lean as fuck and they're big so and they look great. Man. And then what they'll do is they'll take, they'll get, they'll drop down, they'll drop diet down weight and dehydrate for a, like a photo shoot. And then they'll put, they, they won't be that lean all year round. They'll just post those, those photos yeah. every few weeks. So it looks like they're lean all year round, which is just fucking dangerous. Yeah. And I, I would, much prefer it if people were honest about their drug use because like like to be fair to Rob McElhenney he was pretty fucking upfront about was he? yeah he was like yeah you have to have a doctor that is yeah, 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 yeah fine. I'm not a doctor you know like I don't <laughs> like but he he took he took TRT like testosterone for that and, and probably fuck loads but it's more. The, the thing with the whole commitment to the role that you're that it's an interesting thing because non-actors will say sort of like oh would you ever go deep into character and I used to get in trouble at drama school I mean stick it on the bill fucking things I got in trouble for drama school <laughs> just being like honestly just fucking learn the fucking lines and say them like you mean them that's literally it and maybe get a haircut and if, if you're yeah. fucking fat and the character isn't fat then yeah. uh, trim, trim up a little bit but if you can't trim up then don't the the best quote. This is why I love Rob Pattinson. Yeah, and I want. I was so annoyed that I didn't go on record years ago saying this. When everyone was slagging him off in Twilight, I yeah. genuinely thought if Rob Pattinson had fell out of Rada, done that movie, everyone would go, "Here's the next greatest Brit actor of our yeah. of our time." But because he didn't, it, it, he wasn't. He said, "No one's ever done." When was the last time you saw someone go method for a role just playing a really, really, really nice guy? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Hey, man, you're playing the nicest guy in the world. He's super happy the entire time. You want to go method? <laughs> no. I'll just Are you playing pack. a fucking lunatic and wants to kill everyone? You know, I'm going to go deep on this one. Yeah. Really, you don't need to. I'm going to... I'm going to... You really, the, the really... Guy... And I'll tell you why I don't need to. Because in your little sad scenes on set, they'll play sad music for you, boy. <laughs> yeah. And they'll mute your mic and they'll play in the studio really, this really <laughs> sad music for you. And you can take hours and hours and hours until you get a tear. And then they'll print that one. Or, you don't need to go method, my or, boy. Or they'll just do, do they'll use this. They'll get cry stick and they'll be like, okay, we run out of time. Have you ever had, uh, that does not work, that cry stick. It does. Uh, no, I know it works, but it doesn't, it can't portray any emotion through it. It's no, that's, just that's burning your, your no, eyes that, off. But that's your job. What? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. your, your job as an actor is to get emotion or, or, just, like, or, like, or like fake emotion. But if they want a specific shot where they're like, we need a close up and you need to cry, they won't waste time. Unless, you're, yeah. unless, you're, unless you can do it like that, they won't waste time. I tell you, like, the thing is, you're wrong. Just be like, Boo. Uh, I mean, you are right to an extent if yeah. you're on a cheap budget. A friend of mine who's not a friend anymore was on um, Testament of Youth, the uh, um, Kit Harrington film. I never actually saw it. I think it was Didn't during his it. times of, Fine, okay. of Game of Thrones. Anyway, the, the, the woman actor, the girl, was uh, doing a scene and they just, they played this song for her for about three hours on a close-up until she until she had a phone to her until she got the tear. They got it and like, right, cut that, moving on. That's the day 
Mm. So we'll see everyone after That's the weekend. That's crazy. Fucking mental. So she's Christ it. I mean, Boom. absolutely. Yeah, but she if she's it starts sting your eyes. And if you say no, sting your, sting your eyes a bit. Yeah, it's curtains. I mean, so I would give um, back in black. Um, Ah, listen, go just wait for it to be on a streaming service. Let's not let's not do an actual out of ten. No, it. it's not, not about out of, you like, out of you, ten. You, you you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I got really emotional at points of it as well right, okay. because fuck me, that girl was twenty three years old when the press were disgusting. That's the thing. That, piece that, of shit. That's the thing. I, I um. So I, and I, I don't care. What, I don't care what anyone says. That bloke is the reason she's a heroin. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty, simple, it's it's simple as that. Yeah, I so this one <clears> thing, I, like <throat> the thing that I have issue with, with with that movie is it is quite recent. Obviously, like she yeah. only died. If I can still remember her, like being at like yeah on like do you know what I mean? I st- I, like, yeah. I, I, I saw her out yeah. a couple of times in Camden. Do you know what I mean? Like like it feels really recent, and I don't think Amy would be on board with a biopic of no that. one would be on board with their own biopic apart from Bob Dylan, who will fucking love it. But and Elton. Yeah, but Elton was alive to say, hey man, I was a fucking piece of shit. Print yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. The Bohemian Rhapsody was such a failure because the re- Brian May, Brian May took stuck his oar in and went, um, Freddie was the greatest guy in the whole world. Sure. No, mate, he was Mr. Fahrenheit. He fucked everything that moved and was a cunt, but yeah. a legend. So you can be both. You can be a complete monster and a genius. Yeah, of course you can. And on top of being a monster and a genius, you can be a really nice guy at points. Sure, Kevin Spacey. Is it like- <laughs> show it as show it for the, all the shade that you are. That's interesting. That's why Elton John's biopic was fucking interesting because you saw this man admit to being a monster, sure. a genius, a bit of a thief in terms of yeah. taking the songs that he didn't actually write and just putting. It's an interesting yeah. fucking. But I kind of kinda like the idea of like just showing all sides of of a, of a person that's real. Like yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like the um, the the Pam and Tommy thing either. I never watched it. I didn't watch it, um, but I didn't like the idea of it. Neither. Pam Ransom was just like, yeah, no, I've had yeah. trauma thinking about it. Of course, and it just you've dragged me through that again. And she seems like. So, she, did you watch her documentary on? Uh, no, but she. I like. Really she's good. going like uh, no makeup to events and stuff. She awesome. seems really cool. Well, she's fucking cool, dude. Like, yeah, like yeah. she's a fucking icon. Yeah, that's icon. icon. Yeah, Pam Ransom. Fuck. Um. So yeah, I, I mean, I've got a friend that's in Black and Black. Who they play? I don't know. I think one of her mates, blonde girl. Okay. Um, brilliant. She, like, she's a fantastic actor and really lovely, lovely person, Therica. Um, so, oh, shall I do my yeah. movie review? Yeah. Uh, I went to see um, Monkey Man. Yeah. Um, Dev Patel wrote, wrote, directed, and starred in yep. um, the action movie. And I fucking loved it. Okay. Uh, it's... It's almost like Jaws, right? The, the, like in a, in a way, it's like you know when we're like, when are we going to see the shark? Later. H- how much later? Very, very later. Way, way later. later. <laughs> it's like it's like that with the like he would have pitched this to Netflix. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's um, it's sort of um, well, it's you know, it's an action movie. Oh right, is there going to be an action in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are we going to see it? Later. That's how much? Point. How much later? Well, after you know, an hour and a half of probably like quite heavy drama what's and the premise of the film the premise of the film is brilliant man it's set in India and he plays a poor um, kid from from um, a little province in I think I guess it's meant to be set in Mumbai but they filmed it in Indonesia uh, and it's Dev Patel just doing what he wants to do it's about an Indian like a little Indian sort of like I guess he's an Indian kid in his 30s who is played by Dev Patel who works um, his, his basically his mother gets killed um, by the police, um, they, they come into his village and kill him when he's a little boy, and it's basically a revenge story about how he he gets he, he works his way into a club, like a high end nightclub in Mumbai, where this police chief frequents, and um, sounds a lot sounds, and, sounds a lot like Batman. Yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah, it's sort of a bit like that, and he ends up like trying to he he works he he gets a job as a waiter there, and he works his way up, and then eventually like. Um, takes his revenge basically and he like trains and becomes like this fucking fighting machine so it's like it's it's the premise is silly but he's so since he's such a fucking good actor and mm. he's so he plays it with absolute sincerity and he's written like the politics of uh, of india and like the caste system and like the divide it's, there's a bit of parasite in there in terms of divide rich and poor yeah. um it's a really good movie and then it, it, but it's drama, and it, and and it's drama for the first yeah I said an hour and a half, about an hour yeah. for and there's a bit of action, but then it there's it this, the last half of the movie is just bone crunching violence, but it's filmed really really well. 
Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I'd be curious. If I was watching. It. I'm a big, big fan of Death Patel. Me I saw too. a quite scathing review of Death of, of his treatment after. If you compare Nick Holt's career and Death Patel's, yeah, Death Patel was in an Oscar-winning film in 2010. Yeah, and his follow-up 20, 2008, I think. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, whatever it was. He was 18 in Slumdog Millionaire. And the underlying racism within Hollywood at that time was palpable because, I mean, anyone else, he would be the Timothy... They, this review said he would be the Timothy Chamelay of his time at the time Absolutely, because yeah. he was just very good. I mean, so look, Dev Patel. Did you, I, I saw an interview with him and he was like, I don't... He was like talking about um, like diversity and re- representation stuff. And he was like, I don't like... I don't want to be Bond. He was like, I want to be Monkey Man. Like, I want like... Let's stop just like, why are we just diverse casting these 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 stories that are written by like white people in like their day like they can have that he's like i want to uh, just fun stuff that i want to do and it's like and he so he so this was originally fun this movie was originally funded by netflix and then um obviously he like it, he started writing and filming it uh, in 2020 and then covid hit and it fucked them because they were going to film it in india oh, wow, okay. so they had to push it to a remote island in indonesia keep filming it then they presented it to netflix and because it's not just a straight up action movie and it's quite like there's like themes and stuff in there and actually a story netflix, <laughs> netflix were like mm, don't really know what to do we could just don't know and so dev was like oh fuck he, he was like it might be shelved and then jordan peele came in and was like this is a cinema release yeah, and he got his production company Monkey Paw in, and they bought the rights off Netflix for like I think it was like like ten million or something, and then it's got a cinema release and it's got rave reviews and it was the right Actually, choice because Jordan Peele is a genius. What they're doing it, yeah, yeah, because Netflix are like they don't they don't really know what they're doing. And and did you see it, talking of Netflix, there was a an article recently from one of the senior executives that just basically said in corporate language. Yeah, you um, said second screening. We no, 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 no. This is re- more recent. He was like, "We need more content on there. We just, we just need more." And it's like, "No, you don't need more. You need better. You need better." The thing is, as much as I want to agree with you and be like, "Yeah, I'm sure they're all stupid." Da, 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 da. Unfortunately, mm. I've started watching a um, uh, a documentary on Man City, yeah, on their treble win on Amazon or Netflix on Netflix, yeah, and it's absolutely fine. It paints out Man City to be a much, much happier place than I'm sure a professional football environment is. Sure. But fine. My point is they that literally took a season to yeah. film and make. Yeah. I've watched every single episode in two days. Okay. They do need more. Because and and, and th- they just do, bro. Do you, th- do you think so? Yes, of course, because things take so long to make and people devour them within hours, right? So that's two years of work into maybe a week sure. done and they, there does need to be more content and the 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 and the reason why and if you started to, it's, it's two birds one problem if you or the other way around if you let in for example our show and they yeah. gave us 200 grand to go and make yeah, our yeah, show yeah. which is all we fucking need it's all we need guys that, yeah. like seriously that's all we like we're not asking for the sky we're asking for it would like, be easier to do it with a million it would be easier to do it with a million um, but still you know, only a million because like, the, the big man and I want to go on holiday generally. yeah a couple so, of times a year I'd like at to least, I'd like to if we could I would like to film it in the south of France that'd be lovely as well um, and it does it lends itself very well to the south of France it's transferable that lovely, it's exactly. transferable exactly. We, we, we did that in the writing it's layered like that um <clears throat> season two could be back in London. Anyway, the um, if they if they greenlit that, that is also good content and more content. And yeah. we're not the only two shit munchers around there with the script. Now the thing is, like at the Olympics, talking about anabolic steroids, yeah. it was like, oh, everyone's on drugs, everyone's on drugs. Let them take all the drugs. Mm-hmm. Let's see who the real winner is, right? Yeah, yeah. I like if that. everyone's out there with my little script, my little shit, my little script, my little, oh, I've got a little script I want to, go make yeah. it. Here's money, go make it. And we'll see if it's good. Yeah. But let's that's, see, that's what the walk, baby. Let's go that, for it. That is what I think. Like, for instance, if I was head of Netflix, right? Yeah. If they, you know, if they actually stepped up and gave someone that knew what they're doing, a job, what a world! Exactly. I would be like, okay, you want new content? Okay, we've got a team of twenty that we're going to set up for uh, uh, submissions, and your job is here's we'll have an open email address, send your script to this email address, and have those twenty people just read scripts all day long. Find out if there's anything sure, good, okay, time, and then t- throw money into it. Try two hundred people. Oh yeah, how or how many? 20 uh, yeah I'm, I'm just fingering the air number but like that just that literally that intake all day long just literally open it up to the world be like okay well have you got a script let's send it in we'll read it like 
and and your credentials let's say like um, what like why should we yeah. we listen we, we I think also it. basically if anyone who's worked at Netflix for more than 10 years just immediately fire them just yeah. you got to go you've done um, a shit job guys the, the BBC sort of should follow track on that a little bit but, as well. I, but also I, I think that no one's been at Netflix for that long I think they're they, no, no, they employ have. Net- freelancers no I trust Netflix is just but even even if it's five years that you're dated I anything agree, yeah. if you were there before COVID making convert you're done you're done yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't know what you're talking about you don't know what the world's happening now it's, it's, it's over mm. like the guys who commissioned people just do nothing that's over. That world yeah. is over. You're yeah, not going true. to like we, we like we're your son. It's just that is done now, and I don't know what the answer is in the future. But it's apparently um, my friend um, said this to me earlier today. He said one really good streaming service is Mubi. I don't you know what movie uh, is. Bruff, I don't need another one. No, no. Do, do you know what it is though? The, no. con- the concept is it's only movies, no TV, and they show movies that have been at film festivals. Yeah, look, cool idea. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm done with all fucking streaming services. Sure. Yeah. I, I, it's there's too many already, mm. and football's a disgrace. And we'll talk about football now. Sure. Yeah. It's a fucking disgrace having anything Sky, TNT. Yeah. We're just getting as the consumer. We're getting fucked. We're getting fucked yeah, we in are, every yeah. orifice daily by yeah. by everyone and i am i'm mate i'm becoming you probably noticed uh listener or viewer <laughs> that uh in, in this week's episode i mean less a few less of the jokes just more of a chat this episode quite nice. um yeah just more um let's i want to oh, oh, we're gonna let's go do a little game all right lovely um and it hasn't you know when your laptop is supposed to link the notes to your phone sure it hasn't done that which has really uh, oh, right, okay. fucked me well, a little bit. Right. But I can still, I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to roll with the punch. Uh, Harvey, this is something I, w- I, I, you know this, so I'll say to the viewer, or the yep. listener, um, do you ever find yourself in a situation trying to like blag your way through f- sport chat or film chat or anything like that, right? Oh, yeah. So I wonder, I know nothing about UFC. Harvey knows nothing about football. Yep. Harvey, do you think it's easier to blag your way through chat about football or is it easier to blag your way through chat around UFC or contact sport? So I think I think it's probably easier to to sound like you know what you're talking with with MMA or boxing because you could because not everyone like everyone knows about football other than me right everyone everyone I feel that if you if you get a group of like twenty lads in a room yeah I would say probably nineteen out of twenty are probably going to know something about football yeah whereas if you get twenty lads in a room they might. No, I've watched a heavyweight boxing match, but no one really fucking knows anything about MMA or boxing. They just like a lot of them are casuals. But if if there's one person that knows something, even even if you say stupid things, they won't ever call you out on it. Really? Yeah. I like if like if I'm in a, if I'm in a room and someone's talking about MMA, I'm never going to be like, actually, you're wrong because I just don't I don't care enough to have a conversation with someone that doesn't know anything about MMA. Yeah. But if there's someone that knows about MMA, you know pretty, pretty quickly because there'll be little details that they'll, or little, like, like obscure fighters that they'll, they'll have heard So of. you think it's easier to muddle along not knowing about football? Uh, about, not, MMA. about MMA. Because you can football. make shit up and people are like, yeah, that sounds right. Okay, so if I asked you, Harvey, um, so this is the situation. Let's go. You're at a table, yeah. uh, a mate of a mate is taking you there, it's in a pub, and yeah. there's like six or seven other lads around the table. Yeah. And someone hits you with, uh, is it coming home? Going to, we do in the Euros? We're de- yeah, I think that we've got the best team ever thus far on paper. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's unconvincing, but you said the, you know I mean? said the right thing. The right yeah, 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 sort yeah, yeah, of yeah. things. Sort of things, yeah. But this blonde hair, tattoos, obviously I'm not into football. The set, well, don't, listen, you know. Yeah. Do you ever, there was, uh, you but you know my, me as well, do you know what I mean? Like, the second tier of this, the harder one of on, this now, on, but on. this is them leading the question. So it's very simple. Have Arsenal fucked it? They bottle it every season. Yeah, they can't finish the season. Man City are going to sweep in again because Beth is a genius. Very good. That's what I mean. Do you know what very, I mean? Someone said that to me good. today, though. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Do you got to remember these today. things? Yeah, you got to, I've, I've always keep them in there. The level up of this, on. possibly the hardest one, on. is, um, is, um, is it, you know, Foden or Saka? Who are we playing? So I don't know what those noises you just made yeah. were. So this is the thing. Yeah. Never be afraid of the both. Okay, yeah, both. Yeah. Give both. You really reckon? And then that, and then what you do is let you get everyone argue amongst themselves. Yeah. Throw it back into the room. S- Saka's a player, isn't he? They're both players. Foden yeah, and Saka are both players. Foden. F- Phil Foden. Phil Foden. Bakaya Saka. Doesn't sound like a real name, but it sounds like So they're both the sort of similar positions in, in the England setup, and they're both sort of world class players. Saka plays for Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and he's he's the really lovely everyone loves him lad, isn't it? Is yeah. he the one that went up to Beckham and was like, "Excuse me, sir, can it's, I have a photo?" That's I, fucking he's, heartbreaking. He's, me, he's, like, he's the nicest man. That's so heartwarming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was. Lovely. But like all footballers, these are competitive people, and sure. just like a, a you know a baby Rottweiler, it can take your arm straight off. That, yeah, I've got and people, one can take think, your arm off. <laughs> if I was Saka or like Jack Green, I would get a little bit annoyed of everyone being like, oh, he's such a nice guy. Listen, listen, big boy, I didn't become one of the best footballers in the world by being just like, nice. I'll yeah. fuck you up, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's important. Like, if you're a competitive footballer, yeah. just you you got to be able to be an absolute bastard at on, on On that, you know, little rock while turn your arm up. So, you know, people say swans can break your arm. Swans can and will break your arm. Mate, that is bullshit because the swan a... came at me a couple of weeks ago. Were you in the water? Were no, you... I was no, by the by... water. No, 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 no. So you're done. Unless you're done, so the argument's over. No, if, what I'm saying is I put it in a fucking headlock and I just fucking had a yeah, go at it. Yeah. And it just it just did nothing. It started batting it. I was like, here, go on, take my arm, take my arm. And it was what whapping just, its what wings you're just, on me. You're, all, you're doing there is, all you're doing there is showing showing your ignorance to the situation. Go on. Okay? You put a shark out on the land and I'm winning that nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It can't I'm breathe. Not, because I'm... <laughs> I'm not just fucking thumb Cause I, sizing. Because I'm not... I, I'm, he's in my world. Yeah, I'm not in his world. environment, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. You reversed, put it back in the ocean. Yeah. Guess who's winning one on one every time? You and a shark. Yeah. Which about what sort of shark? Well, the Great shark. white, I presume. The, shark, the shark's winning every single time because wow. I'm in his environment. If you were to get in wade deep, yeah. right, and you don't have your dexterity, and yeah. you're slipping on that slimy shit underneath you say, the water. You're saying I've got no dexterity in the water. I'm actually. I'm saying you're. I'm saying agile. that against a fully grown swan. Swan. I'm fucking in that swan their up, in their environment. Yeah. I, I really, and this is actually not even a joke. I really think that swan is fucking you up. Do you reckon? If you are in slippy, wady water, yeah. and the swan comes, it just a bit, it comes at you, man. I'll come at it as well. Flap, flapping. Yeah, I know. I just, just fucking, like, I come think, at it. I think you'd be, I think you'd be. You think I'd be out of my element? I really think, mate, it's not going to kill you and it's not going to break your arm. It's not going to break my arm because they try. I was like, look, have a go, mate. Couldn't do shit. Yeah, yeah, but uh, also. Couldn't do shit. So you're, you're, but this is the thing. You could have walked away at any moment, right? No, but I wanted to inflict some pain on this one because it came at me. In their, like in, their, in their world, I in, their, in, their world in their world, in their world, in their world, in their world, you lose that. Probably five times out of ten. Do you reckon? Fifty percent of the time, you lose that. Well, look, look. Uh, what are we talking about? Football. Go on. Let's get back to it because you know I, I derailed that a little bit there. No, that was kind of it. That was kind. That was kind of more just like I'm. Very, I'm always curious about trying to like how well people can blend into yeah, situations yeah. and yeah. blend out of those situations and I always find it almost a um, a, a, a personality weakness of mine that yeah. I'm able to so seamlessly blend on, on my wedding day yeah it was probably the most um, I don't throw around the term schizophrenic or multi-personality lightly because I know that is a real fucking thing yeah but because I am so many different versions of myself yeah I found, I thought like shit. Am I going to get undone? I'm going to get seen here because loads of people, so many people yeah, yeah. from different groups in my life have different memories of me and yeah. different images of me. I have different accents. Yeah, at points you do. Like I am very, very, and they blend seamlessly at points. But yeah. like I thought on that day, I was like, oh my god, who the fuck am I? Mm. Um, and I, I'm, I, it's something I just think about and I was thinking about it in terms of football. I went to my beloved Chelsea FC last night to Stamford Bridge to watch us play some football and uh, I was thinking like, yeah, I'm, 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 if I'm able just to turn on and be, I don't know how convincing it is when I turn into, into Chelsea Geezer. In Ch Chelsea Geezer? But I'm able to. Do you and have then, a Stanley knife on you? <laughs> no, but I Not mean, I'll give, I'll give it to anyone. Yeah, I saw you give it to someone. Only ever verbally. I'm only verbally, verbally. Only yeah, ever, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. ever verbally. With both barrels, very much. Where was I? Uh, well, no, actually, no. I didn't see you. I saw you right before, and I was like, "He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna get into some shit here." Is this is when was, we won the Champions League. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and then you went out, and yeah, yeah. you yeah. had to go at some geezer because he was yeah, able to go at you. It was like a bit. So he of was like, having a massive go at me, and he's and his, <laughs> I got. It was more like I was giving it in a funny way. His fr he he sh he shoulder barged me into it. And I was like, oh, I can't, mate. We're Chelsea fans here. We just won the Champions League. Yeah, Relax. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. then he said something like, you fucking walk on or something like this. And then, it's, and then his friend said, please don't do anything. Yeah. If he hits one more person, he's going to jail. Never Now, this was just hilarious to me. So I was like, I don't believe you. Oh, no. I, I, go on, then. If you're such a big man, is oh, you, oh, go on, then. And his go friend on, was probably you, looking at you and with and fear and his, in his eyes. But, but the friend wasn't scared enough. 
Oh, so I fine. didn't. I just didn't believe them. They were young. They were. They were. They were in their mid twenties. I was like, I, I don't think you've ever been anywhere near a courtroom, mm. and I don't think you're going to hit me. Yeah. And but I can. And and it's like <laughs> there's a part of me that just can't not wind someone up who's like that, who's that angry, and oh, like who yeah. thinks violence is such a sick thing, and they think it's so cool that they're going to. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I just found. So, but then, yeah, it will, it will obviously it will oh. get me into trouble. And he did. He did, he did try and hit me. Oh, fine. <laughs> Stuck. <to laughs> he hit my friend in the shoulder instead. Oh, that was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Always have someone to get in the way. Do have someone as yeah. a as a human body. Human shields, shields yeah, because uh, yeah. that that'll do it. Um, do you want to continue with the game or how? how there was uh, no. That was that was, was the that game. That I, was... Think, I think I, I think I did all right. You did well. I don't really have. So I don't really have. Uh, there's no real. There's no real quote like. There's no real like op like opposite for MMA. Like there's it's the like for instance that when someone I, when I know someone is into MMA in a, in a, in a, in an actual way. We'll talk about like, for instance, the recent UFC card, the UFC 300. The thing that I found fascinating about that card is like, there's a, there's a, there was a fighter called Charles Oliveira and he fought Armand Sarukian low down the card, but he was, that's like the super technical fight. And it, and he did some really interesting things with submissions. So like normally when you do it, so the, again, you're tapping it like immediately when you do a guillotine, you hold an S grip and you get your watch face hand on their neck. He did something where he gripped his, his hand, and he had a weird floating hand and it was weird and like So I don't think you fully understood the game. That is what I'm talking about. I'm saying if I go into a room with six other people around a pub table yeah. and they believe me to also be a UFC fan and they are all that knowledgeable and know what you're fans. talking about oh, and they know what they're talking about right, I, that I think this the, the football fan doesn't stand a fucking chance in that environment because yeah. you know nothing about football and yeah. you were able you only really gave yourself away a little bit yeah. can I also tell you what gave you away yeah. your enthusiasm yeah 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 you mustn't ever be about <laughs> mustn't ever be enthusiastic I was like I'm gonna get this right yeah pick yeah. a lane and just be like yeah that's yeah, it yeah yeah shit, shit. Like, yeah, yeah true like, it's almost like being when you're in France trying to get into a nightclub just say nothing and be like and if someone and if says anyone says anything just be like, eh. I don't know if anyone here has ever frequented the nightclub Scotch of St James but the first time I ever went there on never Never forget that there's this little red rope, and uh, and the people I was with just said, um, "Just do nothing, don't talk, yeah, that's just light a cigarette and stand there." And I did that, and Got then it. you were ushered in, yeah. and, so, and other people weren't. Now I had shoulder length hair and was wearing a fucking trilby. Yeah, you looked a bit. And at the time, skinny jeans were in, and I was wearing Chelsea boots and skinny jeans with rips in them. So I looked, I looked the fucking business. Let's not. Yeah. Piss this was 2016. It yeah. was. Um, it was a different time. It, it, was a, it was a different time. I went back another time wearing a bandana. Still got in, but I can't tell you the amount of shit that I got for that bandana. I used to wear bandana until... Yeah, you like, wore bandanas a lot. Recently, did I? Not for years, but I mean, I remember like being like, yeah, this is the look I'm going for. It was a good look and on no, you. And no one said shit. You got that Asian in you, man. You got that Asian, do you want me to get away with it? Do you want to do the fan mail segment? Yeah, we got wrap it up. and we got, Oh, we, we, got, we got 20 more minutes. Do we? Yeah, we started early. But we have a bit of a longer podcast, it's all right. Wow. Yeah, I know. Well, look, we've got things, people need problems solved, and I don't want to cut their problems short just because... It's been a bad episode so far. It's been a bad episode so far. Yeah. Just um, <laughs> At least we can call it. How do you it know is. what I mean? Look, sometimes we'll so, do it. Sometimes some, you never know what you're going to get. Occasionally, we'll deliberately do a bad episode that's really funny, and occasionally... Yeah. We'll just chat. It will just be a bad episode. Yeah. Now, that's also the self-loathing in my brain. Yeah. Because this might have been really I think, interesting. I think it's probably people. quite good. Do you I think, I, yeah, I think it's one of those ones where you're like, oh, we'll stop it. We'll be like, oh, so even when every time I leave here, Harvey will watch it, listen to it first, and I'll be like, is it any good? And he'll be like, yeah, hey, surprising. But I can't listen to it first. I have to let him listen to yeah. it first. <laughs> All right. Okay. First question. Yeah. Is this, um, wait, is this fan mail or 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 advice? Well, it's kind of both, I guess. Okay, I really um, want those be to go back. Advice. I want those to go back into two separate pools. Okay, fine. Oh, well, Not uh, right um, now, but for next week. To be Just... fair, actually, we've got three questions, and they are, and they yeah, is it is it is um, yeah, it's advice. So, first question, uh, dear Matt and Harvey, uh, I want to get my child into film and TV. He's currently ten and a standout performer at school. He really enjoys it is brilliant and wants to take up some extra activity outside of school, what would your advice be? Firstly, he sounds like an arrogant piece of shit. Yeah. Heavy words, but it's, you know. He sounds arrogant. It, not, what 10-year-olds what won an Oscar? Yeah? None. Yeah? Because I don't think they're able to because they're very small. And also, children, right? They're just full of it, aren't they? They're like, oh, like remember that little kid on ET? You know that audition tape where he's like, oh, I don't want him to go. And it's like, cut. And it's like, yeah, you got the job, kid. Yeah, all right, mate. All right. Oh, like we can all we can all get a bit sad. That do you know what I mean? That was good. It was good. But it's, we can. Do you know what I mean? I'm sick of it. Um, 
look, kind of, if he's into it, if he, as long as it's not a you thing, I would say. If it's your, key. if you're like, I want him to be famous, then don't because you're going to put him through the ringer. This job is fucking hard, mate, and it's very depressing at times. And it is a job. And it is a job. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I would. I would just wait and see how it turns out. Don't force him into any extra classes. He's getting enough shit at school. He's probably getting called like a fairy at school for wanting to put leggings on and dress as Peter Pan. I know I did. So let's, okay, so whilst the Hartley just shows his age there and not able to keep up with the times and give yeah. advice to not do those things, yeah. mine's the opposite. Go on. Double down. Yeah. Get that kid into every single audition. Talk to every single person you can. Make sure that he has a good diet, that he looks good. Yeah. Get his self-tape game amazingly. If you want this kid to be the best, then you need to assume everyone else is doing better than you. Um, also, if you do that, he could be the next Millie Bobby Brown and she won Woman of the Year, didn't she? She won, well, she was still in the same year. She is Woman she of is, the Year. She is Woman of the Year. She didn't win it. It's not a raffle, Harvey. She, you know what I mean? she earned Woman, Woman of the Year. And that's because her parents stepped up. Yeah. Put her in. Put her in the, if the, my the, the, parents, the meat grinder had decided to push my acting agenda instead of all the love and affection they gave me. Pathetic. Trust me, I'm not sat here in this room with him. No. Okay? He's out there winning man of the year. I'm man of the year. GQ awards. Man of the year. Yeah. Probably probably Esquire as well. There, there's two magazines. I didn't start acting until I... Uh, professionally acting. When I say acting, professionally acting, I mean failing at auditions, yeah. but going to them professionally. Yeah. Um, I didn't start doing that until I was around 14. So this chap seems to have, you know, a good four years on me. Exactly. I started acting when I was 28. If I started at 10, I'd be in the fucking British Museum by now. Do you know what I'm saying? So let, let's... Um, I thought you wanted to have it named after you, the British Museum. It will, well, it will be eventually, but, okay. but let's just... Uh, I think um, we've so answered look, that quite well. Sort of, we've nailed that one. You've, yeah. Um, second... Agony aunt question. Um, it's quite it. a quick one. Um, dear hey. Matt and Harvey, have you ever had to apply your acting skills in real life? And that's from Johnny. Um, Johnny, um, does he not? Does he, does he not listen to the podcast every day? Do you know what I mean? Every day. Every day is go time. You think this is my real personality? No, no. no. This is a competition, and no, no. we must win. Yeah, 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 yeah. the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything to, is a competition. Trying to outdo people. Exactly. Every single time I step out the door, it's game face, baby. I would agree. Genuinely, it's I would game agree. face. Um, I would say the best time I used my acting skills outside of acting was when I was on the set of a film called Greed for a couple of weeks mm. and remained in perfect character sure. of trying to make everyone around me laugh and like me. That's true. But that's you being you and very charming. I don't no, think... No, well, no. It's a rehearsed and very carefully curated character. version of myself Yeah, yeah, yeah true. to make yeah, sure true. that I come across as quite likeable, pretty badass. Pretty badass. <laughs> Which is key because you want an element of danger in your charm. Do you know what yes. I mean? You can't just be charming. No, Because no, people no, no. like, they want something from me. Yeah, you can't uh, just be charming. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, um, so yeah, yeah. So every day is game day, I think. Uh, like you, Genuinely, if you can act, you should never reveal who you really are. Always be on. Always be on. Like that Hugh, the Hugh, Hugh Grant does it quite well at the moment. Everyone thinks, isn't Hugh Grant just, he's so flippant. No, no. No. He's on. He's on. And anyone who thinks he isn't, yeah. Is off. You clearly don't know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Um, third question. And Thank you, Johnny. And final, hopefully. And, fi and final, and final. And hopefully. Um, dear Matt and Harvey, how do I become more confident? I've just started a new job and I'm worried that I don't know what I'm doing and will be found out. Okay, has he tried belittling people? That's what I was going to go to immediately. Yeah. Um, it's something of a dream job and I really don't want to lose it. Any advice? Welcome. Um, just, yeah, belittle people that aren't your boss, but anyone else in the team or anyone in different teams, call them out. Just be like, you are a piece of shit. Yeah. In fact, in a meeting, and you could, I presume you, you'd be in a meeting, um, just out, just completely unwarranted, just have a go at someone in that meeting. Just be like, excuse me, sorry, uh, um, what are you writing? Can you get, fuck off. Just get out. And just and they'll be like, what? Who is this? And just like, but but what will happen is your boss will see that, yeah. And they'll be like, this person must know what they're doing because they you couldn't just clearly you 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 wouldn't you wouldn't have a go at someone unless they you no. really could back it up, would you? Yeah. No. Get get find you, a fantastic point. It's just to build on that, just to build snowball on. on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, find out the dress code of your office, yeah. and on the days that you do go into office, dress in t completely differently to it. Yeah. So hopefully it's probably like a like a sort of a quarter length zip up sort of vibe, exactly. right? Dress in rags. Really go in there barefoot if it's summer, and then that will make people think, 
god damn, like this guy isn't putting on any front at all. He must or she must know what's up. Oh, just to, on the to snowball on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. words: blackface. <laughs> You know, because <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, we're gonna have to cut that. We're not gonna have to cut that. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not like I'm just saying like if you want to en- introduce an element of danger, no one's doing blackface anymore. That like without really backing it up and being a really really good employee. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't you wouldn't do something that is racist and to tank your career unless you're really good at your job, would you? <laughs> listen, would you listen listen? I'm, I'm not, not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not. I, I think I abhor blackface. I, obviously, it's racist. That's the point. You need to do something abhorrent. Yeah. That they're like, whoa, that's a bit strong. That's, that's wild. That's a bit strong. So then you can be like, <laughs> I just can't believe you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, if yeah. I'm being honest, I really needed a laugh this afternoon yeah. because it hasn't been a very fun episode, <laughs> right? I've sort of been trying along. I tried two features, which kind of fell up, died on the ass a well, little look, bit. Look, we, look, we, look, just trying stuff. I think the important thing is right now is that in in general, um, if you've ever seen um, like a comedy show, mm. like a, a sketch show, what mm. they do is yeah. um, two on three off, Mm. two on, Mm. three off, in terms of two good, three bad, two good, three bad. Because... You f- once you've had two in a row, you forgive the third one being exactly. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're fine by the third, and then the third one, you really need the funny one to be funny again, exactly, so it comes yeah. back really, really funny. So what? And that's that's a kind of known way of Struct- doing yeah, structural yeah, yeah, yeah. comedy. We don't do that here. We just do hit after hit after hit. We've do had I mean? twenty five hits we, in a row. We, we are like we're no album tracks here. Do you know what I mean? We are just banger after <laughs> banger after banger <laughs> after no banger. Album track. No, 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 no. You could just yeah. like literally get a disc, throw it into our list of episodes, and play it at Glastonbury for our head, like easy, exactly. right? What we've done today is yeah. probably... I tell you what we've done. Go, tell me. We've done what Dev Patel did in Monkey Man, right? He made the first half of it just I'm like interested. Quite, like, I don't know where the link's quite, going. He's, he made the first half of it like, oh, this is, he's got he's lured them in yeah. with under false pretenses of this is a natural, this is just a nice chat, a little conversation. Yeah. And then I boom, hit him with a blackface. Just, okay. Do so be careful with that. Well, I mean, let's say blackface. Yeah. I, I mean, that's yeah. not me actually say, Like, yeah. again... Because, yeah. but get, we wrote all this. No, just got to be really careful. And then also with them, um, just uh, I was going to say, whilst there's only around two thousand people watching these weekly episodes, I think it's like two hundred thousand. Uh, uh, in, no, inevitably it's going to be around two hundred thousand. What are you saying if they come back? Well, they will come back, and right. it's better to work out the kinks whilst only. And no disrespect to those listening to you, yeah. Um, the shit munchers are listening. Do you know what I mean? Just we do, honestly, we. Um, and, and you know we'll, we'll eventually get in um, the real, just the the real munchers, just the just yeah, the, yeah, just yeah. the idiot. What we're trying we're trying to find the idiots, and at the moment, only yeah. it only seems to be bright people listening to our show, which is a bit of a that's it's not ideal because yeah, no. it means that we have to really be hot and interesting. Once you get the idiots, yeah, in their masses. You They're just... not going to understand that I'm in. This is the thing. Uh, it is a shame to have to break character and, uh, and to, to address this. But they I won't feel understand. That it's, a, it's necessary. They won't understand. Um, when I said blackface to that person, and again, and again, you've said I, that's the I, third I, time now. I I wrote that question, so I wrote that question, right? So I knew and what I was going to do with it, give right? Yeah. But it is it is ridiculous, and it is a character. I don't actually think anyone should be doing blackface. Yeah. And it is a shame to have to say that out loud because it has spoiled that. But hopefully, the intelligent people, the liberal intelligentsia, yeah. which is our audience, will understand No, that. we're not just playing to liberals. No, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just using it. The intelligentsia. The, exactly. Let's leave politics out of it. Well, I, I wasn't saying it for a politics thing. I just... Um, well, look, anyway, look, I think, I think that sort of wraps up the it's another fan five, mail. It's another five-star, 10 out of 10 episode, Harvey. It is, isn't it? Uh, would you like to leave... Um, them with if anything um nice I, thought. oh gosh god okay a nice thought um you're uh god you're probably doing better than you i don't mm. okay i've got one go on t.s lewis quote the gates of hell are locked from the inside do you know what that means no it means that if you're struggling you can get out at any time it's it's your choice that sounds a lot like suicide. No, I don't mean get. I know I don't. <laughs> look, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look. Just stay out of my fucking way, especially that little ten-year-old. Do you know what I mean? It's arrogant. It wasn't a great episode. It's arrogant. It hasn't been a great episode. It's arrogant. <laughs>